All right. Hey, what's up, Jank? Um, I'm just going to demonstrate how to set up a conditional. Um, doing this for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, um, it'll be easier just to talk about it and show you how to do it as opposed to um, like simply like typing it out and telling you. Uh, also, uh, not going to lie, it's also for personal reasons. Um, if this value, if this video is valuable at all, then I can edit it down if needed and then post it to YouTube. So yeah, that is why I'm making the video. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go to commands. We'll go to your command here. Uh, I'm going to be very explicit about what I'm doing um, in case, you know, if I do show this and I need to be uh, super explicit for everyone else to know what I'm doing. So pencil, click on, click on that to edit the command. I have the name of your command here and what I'm actually typing in for your command, like to execute it. Um, and then to actually add a conditional, I mean, you just click the drop down, looking for conditional, and then hang the plus sign to add it. And then you'll have it over here. Click on it to expand it. And then, okay, so now I have two clauses here. And you have three options for the type of like uh, operator that you're using. And so I haven't used X or yet. But or means if this one or this one is true, then execute some action, whatever it is that you choose. I believe X or means one or the other, whereas or means um, like both of these could be true. It doesn't have to be exclusive. That's what I'm assuming it means. I haven't used it yet, so but that's my best guess about what that means. That's one reason why you could have two different OR operators. And then AND, of course, means that you know both of these has to be true in order for th this action to be executed. So then uh, in the special identifiers, it tells you what variables mean what. So I have username, uh, sorry, dollar sign username, meaning if the user, if the name of the user is the jank that is using this command, or if the name of the user using the command is minister gold, then execute this action. So uh, image or video, I chose video here for this drop down. Source the video, and then just set the height, the width, the position, um, duration, the transitions, and then just hit save. And that is pretty much it. So now, um, let me demonstrate something. So first of all, I'm going to use the command, uh, your command that is. I'll go exclamation point the jank. Here it comes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so see, now that works. Now. Let's fuck up the command for a second, and just to prove my point, let's delete this, and let's see if it works if I do it again. So delete that, save it. So now it should not work if I use your command again. So excla exclamation point, the jank. And so there you go. It doesn't work because now it can only be used by you, because it says if the username is the jank, then run this video. But yeah, I deleted my name, so now I can't use it. Um, but let's add it back in. Okay, add clause. Okay, username. Minister Gold. Save. And now it should work again. Here it comes! <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically all you have to do to uh, use a conditional. This is all used within the context of just making commands, but the principle should be the same regardless of whether you're using it for commands or channel points or whatever else here uses it. Um, let me just double check. Is there anything else I have to talk about? Talked about conditionals, the clauses, um, how they work, adding the actions based on uh, or, I guess, executing the action, uh, if one of these is true, uh, and saving it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, yeah, so if anything was unclear, uh, let me know, and I'll clarify. Um, I think that's it. All right, adios.